Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Demonte, bringing you a banger. Don't forget to go follow on my Twitch, please. Here, you will never miss out on daily payday content. Now, before we dive too deep into this video, what perk deck would you guys like to see next? Please tell me in the comment section so that we can actually get a understanding as to what you guys want to see next. It took many weeks to set this up on stream, but here I have presented to you multiple kingpin builds. Please enjoy. Hit that sub, like, and comment. Kingpin, one of the strongest perk decks in the whole game. For the basics of the perk deck, it's a 400 HP pool with basic one-shot armor underneath most circumstances. Outside of the injector inside Kingpin, it's going to play like just like any other perk deck. It's 400 HP pool and armor gating. Yes. Now during your injector on the other hand, for 6 seconds you become nearly immortal. The only damage value that's actually going to kill you is a green dozer at 560 HP. Now if a crew chief is on the board, you no longer have to worry about it. What does the kingpin injector actually do? If you are 50% or more HP, it's going to offer you 75% healing. If you are 50% or less HP, it's going to offer you 100% more healing. Also, every 5 HP regen during the injector will also remove 1 second of time frame on the cooldown, which can be pretty useful since you can kill stuff as well to grant yourself a cooldown. Also, the 30 second cooldown timer. The player is faced with having to survive without the injector. Some of the most common ways are going to be something like bullseye. Your, you know, your 483 HP pool is very viable in this situation. Also, Hostage Taker will offer you 6 Hostage Taker heals during this time period of you waiting for the injector, which can offer you some big chunks of HP, considering that 4.5% of your 483 HP pool is actually a pretty decent chunk of HP. Do keep in mind, Kingpin heavily relies on a Joker to reach an HP breakpoint so that your build will actually be able to get shot enough times so that you're just not getting too shy like every other build. Inside the Kingpin, if you do not have a Joker, your build is practically the same as a 230 HP build. You'll just get shot once to the armor, 2 to the HP, and you die. Obviously, considering 225 damage as the consideration. Here is the best Kingpin builds, Death Sentence 1 down. Going from anywhere from shotgun build, to akimbos, to LMG builds, to assault rifle builds, to a sniper rifle build, these are not ordered in any specific way, though keep in mind you guys all have your own opinions on to what you feel is the strongest build in this situation, but in my mind they're all pretty equal and they're all pretty strong as long as the player that's playing them can understand what to do. To start us off here we have a sniper rifle kingpin and a pistol to accommodate it. For the most part in this build you're going to be using the sniper rifle for you know, controlling the crowds, hitting your enemies at range, and that's the key thing about it, is that you're playing from range mostly in this build. You do have an extremely powerful sidearm, being the Deagle Pistol. Now, you can choose pretty much any pistol that you specifically want, but I just went for the Deagle, because it has high damage, has a decent fire rate, good concealment, good accuracy, good ammo pickup. It's just kind of what I went for. Anybody can go for anything that they want in this setup. If the player is able to hit headshots in this build, you'll be, you know, rewarded with being able to kill crowds of enemies. You'll be rewarded with faster reload times. This build only features one joker. It supplies itself with a lot of damage skills, being things like graze, full crits, and the top tier pistol skill. We do supply ourselves with accuracy skills as well. And 70 armor to stop the light units, you know, medics, minigun dozers, and snipers from taking, you know, HP from us. Timing your injector properly in this build will profit every single time that you use it. Using it too early can result in you dying right after the heal, or like right after you get finished with the objective. Surviving without the injector, on the other hand, is something that you, the player, have to have enough knowledge in the game and situational awareness, HP awareness, you know, armor, things like this, things that you have to have, you know, knowledge of before making a move without the injector. So if you do decide to try this build, please tell me what you think of it. This build was originally given to me as a chat redemption on my stream. It turned out to be a really strong build, I made slight modifications geared more towards the way that I play. 
Now here I present to you the best Kingpin Sniper build. Here is a Kingpin LMG with a nade launcher supplied with first aid kits, double joker, inside of the heavy ballistic vest to achieve two shot armor for light units. This here is an extremely aggressive Kingpin style. You have high DPS output with the buzzsaw and then you supply yourself with a nade launcher for the shields and like dozers or maybe a crowd of enemies to just give you a couple ammo boxes. With the aggression of the build, you supply yourself with first aid kits so you can always push any objective, you can push any enemy, because you always have 14 first aid kits in your pocket. Now keep in mind, you're kingpin. You don't actually really need these first aid kits to heal up your HP. It's just there for the aggression. But since you do have the first aid kits, you can not have to worry about certain situations as much as you would in you know some of the other builds that we'll be featuring. The crit unseen strike buzzsaw in this build is extremely powerful against the dozers. Pretty much every situation that you get caught up in with the buzzsaw, as long as you have ammo, keep this in mind, as long as you have ammo, the buzzsaw will practically kill everything that's there. Now if you get stuck in a situation where your buzzsaw is an empty mag, that's a whole nother story. But we do supply ourselves with lock and load, so you're not out of the game in this situation. The buzzsaw's biggest weakness is that it doesn't have a large magazine comparing it to the KSP. It doesn't have a fast reload time comparing it to the KSP. But in this build in particular, since it is a 6 second injector from the Kingpin, the buzzsaw just fits the most with being able to deal with enemies in that time frame. Very accurate build, being able to hit you know long range to medium range engagements as well. Now just like the last build, you don't want to use your injector too early, you don't want to use it too late obviously. You want to be able to know when you should be timing your injector properly, which is kind of hard always to know when to time your injector, but the more that you play Kingpin or you play Payday 2 in general, you'll be able to start getting the time frames as stuff that will happen, and when you start understanding these time frames, that's when you'll start being able to make your Kingpin injectors more usable. Downs mean nothing. It's about how you can use your tools and recover, and how Kingpin's able to use its tools and recover in situations where it is really bad, that's the strength of this perk. Now I'm not saying you can just get down left and right, what I'm saying is, is you can play from lower HP standpoints because the Kingpin is going to allow you to. And once you understand the true strength of the Kingpin, that's when the Kingpin's never going to let you down. Here I present to you the very best mobile Kingpin LMG. What we have here is a two shot armor kingpin supplying itself with damage reduction from the first aid kits, using an LMG and an SMG as your weapons, being a extreme tank because you have two shot armor, multi shot HP. It's kingpin, so obviously we have jokers in this build. But alternatively, you could be using your first aid kits to grant you a 10% damage reduction to allow yourself to get that extra shot of HP from that way. But obviously, since we have a Joker, our main source is getting it from that. But we do alternatively can get an extra shot of HP from the first aid kit 10%. Now that information is only important in a situation where you don't have a joker and the only thing you can give yourself is the damage reduction to stay alive because that right there will get you the extra shot of HP as well. So diving deeper into the build, we have 221 armor making it 2 shot from 10% from the first aid kits. Now this will last for 2 whole minutes giving you 2 shots to your armor for 2 whole minutes. The situational advantage that this can actually give you is, is high. As an example, if you have the two shot armor triggered and you need HP because let's say you just took two shots to the HP and you're left with the you know the, the small sliver 
being about 10% of your HP left. Let's say you pop the injector, you get shot two times, so you're at full life now. Obviously this isn't a build that you would use on every map, but it is situational as for every build in this list. Do not be shy of combat in this build, as you just witnessed, you're able to pretty much push everything that you want because of the two shot armor. We decided to go for the KSP in this build since we don't have the mobility factor that we have in the other LMG build. We are in a suit of armor in this one, so you are drastically slower. So within my opinion, the 200 round mag shooting slightly slower and reloading slightly faster just was the better decision over the buzzsaw. It's literally unstoppable. My joker died. Would it be cool? Mr. Bad, I got you. It's Mr. Good. So if you decide to try this build, tell me what you thought of it. I know from first sight it looks kind of a bit weird, but it's an extremely strong build. Pretty versatile for the map pool that you could play this in as well. But here is the best Kingpin ICTB LMG build. Twenty nineteen. Why hello. If you have made it to this part of the video, please leave a comment and a timestamp and I would greatly appreciate it. I really love to leave these inside my videos because it makes me really happy when someone actually finds it. Will you find it? Here is my Akimbo Kingpin supplying itself with dual SMGs and an SMG sidearm for high damage. This build here can be a little more tough for some of the newer players to be playing because one you're going to be wanting to micromanage your ammo pool for your akimbos because you don't want to be spraying them too often. You kind of want to have a balance between how much ammo you should be shooting for per enemy and there's a just a short amount of bullets is all it takes. The raw DPS output that you can just do to the dozers with this build is insane. Pretty much any dozer that you run up to being minigun, green dozer, black dozer, LMG, like any form of dozer that you're running up to with these um, SMGs, it just will mow them down, especially if you trigger your crits. And keep in mind, we have full crits. For the most part in this build, you're going to be playing at close range, but you can hit longer ranged engagements with your secondary and primary alike. It's just better to do it with your secondary since you're supplied with 100 damage secondary. One of the things to avoid in this build is fully emptying your magazines in your primary, which is the AK chins. If you go ahead and spray every bullet out of them, it's going to take you a while to reload it, versus just you doing a tactical reload. You can play far aggressive in this build because you regen your injector in no time. Being confident and knowing what 225 damage value looks like on your HP bar so that you can always keep, you know, situational advantage to know that, hey, I can't actually peek this right now because I don't have an injector, I don't have enough HP. That's the stuff that you need to look for. And here I present the very best SMG Kingpin build. Will you try this build? And if you do, what do you think about it? I hope you guys have fun slaying the dozers with this build. This is an automatic rifle kingpin build, supplying itself with a high damage SMG, while the primary rifle is more for the ammo pool, and for the common enemies, and for your tasers, and things like this. I want to point out immediately that obviously you don't have to use the rifle and the SMG that I'm using. I just like to use the stuff that isn't everybody else's pick. So with that being said, Obviously you can change this rifle to the AK-5, the Union, the Tempest, anything like that, the Lion's Roar. Obviously you can switch the SMG to the Krenkov, the CA, or the CR. All these are good choices. This just is what I went for in my build. So with going with these high mag capacity weapons and supplying myself with aggressive reload, I'm able to stay in the fight pretty well and not have to back down every time. This build does supply itself with two jokers because you are kind of being in the fight with the automatic rifle. 
So with having two jokers, you just get two extra targets that will be targeted with the targeting system that Payday 2 presents itself. And then as an additive bonus, if one of your jokers die, you still have the life buff because you still have another joker, right? The huge benefits of this build is that you've got 70 armor so that you can tank the light units. Being able to hit every range that the game is going to throw at you from close range, medium range, and long ranged. Being able to supply yourself with body expertise crits, and these are full crits, so pretty much every enemy is either just going to get staggered or you're killing them in these situations. Just the one factor that you really have to keep in mind when playing this build is just ammo pool alone. But thankfully if your primary gets low, you swap to your secondary and you fill your primary right back up. Now obviously I like to bring ammo bags, so I've always got an ammo bag with me so I'm never really out of the fight. Do not be shy of combat with this build, always charge into battle because you are the one that's going to be able to deal DPS at any range. Here I present to you the medium damaged assault rifles best kingpin setup. If you decide to use this build, tell me what you think about it. It's extremely strong once understanding how you can use the range to be within your favor. And not only for weapons, keep that in mind. Here I present a kingpin shotgun build, one of the strongest forms of a kingpin being in the fight at all times. Taking it back all the way to 2013, the meta really rising in 2017 for this specific Isma shotgun. Though the range factor has had a really tough tool on the shotgun class alone, the shotgun still perform pretty well within the proper range, which is close range. Even then in 2017, and now in 2022, the Kingpin shotgun build is still far, far strong than most ways that you can play the build. So the way that I have my build built here is that I went for extremely high damage output. Going with overkill basic for our shotguns obviously. We have a fire shotgun as a secondary which is great for helping us with ranged enemies. And it's also great for helping us with a crowd of enemies. We supply ourselves with full crits. We also give ourselves surefire aced. I know this sounds a little strange, but in the shotgun build is a ranged weapon. And that's what Surefire states is that it's a ranged weapon that gets, you know, armor piercing rounds. So with our buckshot giving us a plus 15 damage, instead of having to go for the flechette ammo, we're able to do the same thing the flechette does, which is armor pierce, but still keep the 15 plus damage while still being able to have buckshot spread. And the secret sauce to this build is that we have Zerk Kingpin. Pairing the Zerk damage with the shotgun damage from overkill, and then pairing that also with some crits, you actually will chew through pretty much all the enemies that you get faced to. And also, since we have Surefire, we can apply all that damage to the body and still be able to kill them to the body. A slight alternative to this build would be just to replace the Isma with the Goliaths, and that's it. Here is presented to you the very best kingpin shotgun build. This is an OG build, so therefore some players have maybe already tried this, or if this is your first time trying it, let me know what you think. This kingpin build uses a high damage DMR style rifle and uses a secondary SMG, something preferred like the P90 Mark 10 something along that range. For the most part in this build, your SMG secondary is going to be so dealing with most of the smaller enemies, while your higher damage primary is still used to kill the you know lower common enemies, but it's more for your ranged combat. You're not wanting to use this in every engagement. Considering it only takes a few bullets to kill your enemies with this rifle, you can easily burn through all your ammo. We do supply ourselves with 70 armor so that we can get two shots of the light unit. We do have two jokers in this build and it's for the same concept as we did earlier. So one is giving us a life buff and the other one's just there for an extra targeting. Yes you'll have two extra targets on the battlefield and if one joker dies you still have your life buff present. A full crit build with body expertise and we do have the secret sauce in this build as well, being berserker. 
This one will play from range, close range, medium range, it really doesn't matter. It's just you keeping yourself alive is what really matters. If the situation is, hey, I need to pull back and start shooting people from range, then that's the situation. If you need to be the guy pushing into the fight, you can whip the SMG out and then be the guy pushing into the fight. All in all, Kingpin basically will play for its team regardless. You being able to tank unbelievable amounts of damage that the other teammates for the most part wouldn't be able to tank. During the injector you get targeted for your teammates, so therefore there's another play factor for your teammates that they can use and that you can use. Like using your injector in a time period where your teammates gonna need to survive so you use your injector to make sure that he stays alive. So here I present to you the best DMR battle rifle style kingpin build. If you decide to play this build, tell me what you think about it. Be sure to interchange your weapons so that you don't fully run out of one weapon. While both guns are strong, clearly your AK is going to be your main dozer weapon. Thank you guys so much for watching. It would mean so much to me if you guys left a like, leave me a comment, possibly sub to me if you're new here. I do make a lot of payday content and I've played the game for quite a while. So it means a lot to me that you guys are helping me reach my dream.